guys, so sa araw na ito, I should share ko sa inyo kung paano ako nakapagtrabaho dito sa Canada as a radiographer or radiologic technologist pagkadating na pagkadating ko agad dito. Pero disclaimer muna tayo, some of the images I use in this video are taken from Canadian Association of Medical Radiation Technologists. I do not personally own them and is used only for information purposes. Credits to the rightful owner. So ang pathway na pinili namin para makapunta sa Canada ay yung student pathway dahil through this, yung common law partner or student ko ang siyang mag-aaral, wala ko naman ang siyang may chance na makapag-work sa hospital kahit saan pa yan sa Canada. Tanong ng marami, paano ka agad nakapag-work dyan e kailangan ng lisensya? Simple lang, kumuha ko ng lisensya dito. Pero FYI lang ha, hindi lang ang student pathway ang pwede mong i-consider dahil may mga kakilala ko na hindi na nag-student pathway pero nakapunta pa rin dito. Ang ginawa nila ay naghanap sila ng mga employers dito sa Canada kung saan eligible sila mag-work at nag-submit ng mga resumes. Now, suntok sa buwan to ha, but I would still suggest to try it because like I've said, possible siya. If sa tingin ng employer ay kailangan talaga nilang kumuha ng international radiographer outside Canada, ay kukunin kanila at bibigyan kanila ng LMIA or Labor Market Impact Assessment. Now, ano ang LMIA? According to IRCC, an LMIA or Labor Market Impact Assessment is a document that an employer in Canada may need to get before hiring a foreign worker. A positive LMIA will show that there is a need for a foreign worker to fill the job. It will show that no Canadian worker or permanent resident is available to do the job. It is sometimes called a confirmation letter. So, pag nabigyan ka na ng LMIA, ay pwede ka na makapasok sa Canada at pwede mo na rin i-process ang permanent residency mo. O diba? There is a downside though of Elimia and that is you will be tied up for that employer for let's say two years if that is what you signed up for. Ibig sabihin hindi ka pwede makapagtrabaho sa ibang company kahit part-time pa yan. Pero if my partner ka naman at meron siyang open work permit, permit na pwede mong isama sa application mo, e eh okay pa rin siya kasi pwede siyang makapagtrabaho kahit saan. Now to the million dollar question that I usually get. Paano ba makakuha ng lisensya para makapag-work na sa Canada? First step is pumunta muna sa website ng CAMRT or Canadian Association of Medical Radiation Technologists at pasahing maigi ang mga documents na kakailanganin nila sa iyo. So once na sa website ka na nila, ay go to certificate and click entry to practice certificate for internationally educated medical radiation technologists then click assessment process for IEMRT. Once you're in the right track, carefully review the assessment process because each province has its own policies when it comes to obtaining a license. So if you wish to practice and live in Ontario, Alberta, Quebec, Saskatchewan, and Nova Scotia, then you go directly to their website by clicking the province. But if you wish to practice in British Columbia, Manitoba, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland and Labrador, or Northern Territories, I used to stick to the CMRT website. Bear in mind lang na kahit sa Ontario, Alberta, Quebec, Saskatchewan, or Nova Scotia mo man gustong tumira at magtrabaho, ay i-reroute ka pa rin nila sa CMRT website once na-determine na nila na pwede kang mag-challenge sa exam. Also, take note na if fresh graduate ka pa lang, ay hindi ka pwede mag-challenge sa exam dahil kailangan mo munang mag-experience bago ka nila i-push to set the exam. So, gets na sa assessment process. Now, let's go to the fee and some of the documents. The fee for the assessment is 375 Canadian dollars. And iba pang exam fee dyan and is non-refundable. And if you click sa application for assessment, it is a form that you'll need to fill out. And in there, you only need to choose one discipline. So, if your expertise is x-ray, then take radiological technology because each discipline has a fee. So, mapapagasus ka if kukunin mo pa yung MRI. Ang CT scan ay under siya sa radiological technology. So, sa exam, may CT questions na lalabas. Pero that doesn't mean that you can work in CT na once you pass the radiological exam because it has its own certification. O diba, gasus talaga. The rest of the questions in the form are self-explanatory. So, kayo na bahala ang magbasa. Another question that I get is a language fluency. Good thing na si CMRT ay tumatanggap ng certification sa school na English ang medium ang ginagamit during class. 
because you don't need to take an IELTS exam. And then there is the curriculum or course outline. Ang course outline ay hinihingi sa school nyo at wala kayong ibibigay sa school like the one in the HCPC. Wala siyang format except na ilalagay lang nila ang mga courses nyo, its short description, your grades, and how you were evaluated, and was it clinical or theoretical. Kailangan din siya stamp ng school nyo for authenticity. One of the documents din pala is the clinical assessment checklist. If you click on this one, it will show you the procedures of the discipline you've chosen so you have them signed by your supervisor then and put the date you've last performed them. Then there is also the employment letter. You also need to request this one. Tip ko lang din, also ask a reference letter na lang din because you will need this one for your application of your permanent residency once you'll arrive here. As per IRCC, your reference letter should have the following I posted on the screen. Mas mainam na ready na ito kasi very important ito. Otherwise, madali pa yung application niyo for PR. So frustrating din yun. Once na-compile niyo na ang documents niyo, ay pwede na siya submit sa CMRT, obviously, and just wait for the review process. Most likely, if my work experience ka, ay automatic na eligible ka na to apply to write the exam. Another information din pala guys, if sa Alberta kayo magpa-assess, know na may courses pa silang ipapatik sa'yo like Introduction to Canadian Healthcare and Canadian Radiation Protection. So brace yourself talaga sa gastusin. But worth it naman lahat if that means that you can work here as a radiographer. Kasi ang salary dito ng Red Tech depende sa province and nag range between $38 to $55. And depende pa yan sa experience and if may specialty kayo. Make sure din to check niyo mga exam dates para alam niyo when kayo magsasend ng documents sa kanila. I think that's it for this video. I have somehow tackled the gist of how one can work here in Canada under a regulated profession. Take note na if regulated profession ka, uh, you will really need to get a license to work here. And I would suggest to focus on that one first rather than rush yourself to come here because Canada is expensive. But trust me, if you're a red tech here, it really is worth it. Ma appreciate nyo ang Canada if hindi ka mamoblema sa gustusan. Let me know pala if you have some questions, put it in the comment section, and I'll try to answer them. Paalam!